Hi, Rick Bucata here. I want to tell you about a new feature that we've added to the uh, National Emergency Medicine uh, Board Review. And it's being given free, honest goodness, free to all of you who have taken the course in the last two years or signed up for the self-study program. And the reason we're providing this software is because many of you are about to take the uh, new kinder, gentler exam, which is at your location at home or at, at your office. And uh, you don't have to go into a testing center where you do a strip search and all that other stuff now. And it's open book. Unbelievable. Open book. History is being made. However, one of the concerns is this is a time test. And I did speak to someone who took the, the first version of the test uh, in the beginning of the year. And they said they used every minute of their five and a half uh, hours to do this. And I'm afraid that one of the risks are that people will start looking up the answers to questions in Tintin Alley, Rosen, uh, big thick books, or you might even go to, you know, uh, up to date, but maybe you don't know how to use up to date and you're fumbling around kind of thing. So all of you have the slide set from the uh, Mer uh, National Emergency Medicine Board Review. It's in excess of 2,000 slides, but you've been through it once, twice, three times, hopefully th in that range. And uh, so you know what's in there. But the question is, how do I get to it quickly? The answer is EM Quick Search. There's, um, so you basically log in, click to continue. And there's two ways you can search. One of them is by topic, and one of them is by word. The default is it comes up opening up with the topic search automatically. So let's choose a, a category. Uh, let's choose, uh, let's do germ dermatology. Uh, okay, all right. Let's go to Stevens Johnson. Well, that's way down at the bottom. Look at all this stuff we have in there for you, Stevens Johnson. And that basically gives you the three slides one, two, three on Stevens Johnson. Let's do a word search, however, and see how that works out. And put in the word Stevens. Because you know that there's no other word in the, in the entire slide set that has the word Stevens in it except Stevens Johnson. Now you see there's even more slides because it, it lights up the word in, in slides where Stephen Johnson is not the primary thing they're talking about, but is also included in topics they're talking about. So there, there, there. The same pictures. And I think one more. So... Uh, uh, those are the two ways you can do it. Let's do one more time again. Let's go back to the uh, topic index search. Let's do uh, let's do cardiology. Let's do something cardiology. Okay, do uh, cardiology. Let's do um, oh here here. Let's do this one. Uh, WP uh, WPW. So you click on there, 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 there. And um, one of the things that I remember I'm saying is do not use all of these drugs in WBW. The drug of the choice are procainamide and electricity. Those are the two drugs that are used for this topic. So it's important to know that. Now, you've gone through the slides a couple of times. You do know that somewhere on that slide, I'm saying what not to use. Here, here you have the answer. So th that's it. It's, it's pretty uh, straightforward and simple. I do recommend that you play around with this uh, before the exam. Certainly, you want to review all the slides at least a week prior to the exam. Go through all 2,000. You can do it quickly. Don't spend time on the ones that you know. Spend time on the ones that you really don't know. Remember, it, it's, it's actually not a memorization thing anymore. It's kind of knowing what's in the book. So this is a way where you don't have to stack up a bunch of uh, books on your desk. You may need them anyway, but first go to the, this database and see if we provide the answer that you're looking for. So that's it. Uh, EM Quick Search uh, for all of you. Uh, good luck. Uh, I know this test is basically a pain in the butt. However, 10 years you'll be certified, and hopefully in 10 years a lot of you are going to be sliding in the home plate and uh, touching, the, touching the bag uh, and the plate, and you're out or maybe even got more than 10 years. In any case, thanks for listening. Bye for now. Oh, one other thing. 
There is the opportunity to do uh, some word searches that are a little bit more advanced. And if you click here, it goes into all the, ins there's about five, five or four different ways that you can do this in terms of narrowing down your word search or getting more specific terms. Like as an example, let me just do you one for you. If you type in back and pain, it'll find every slide that has the word back in it and somewhere else, uh, in it, the word pain will be in it. So every slide has two words in it. If you put a quotation mark around it, it will find only the slides that have the words back pain in sequence, back pain in sequence. If you add a, a like a, a, a root, like tox, T-O-X, and asterisk, it'll find every word that has tox and something after the word, uh, like toxic, to uh, toxicity, <laughs> and toxoplasmos, by the way. Uh, so there are a couple of more here that you can take a look at. It doesn't take very long to understand this, learn how to uh, narrow your search, and, uh, and practice a bit. And after you get facile with it, you'll, you'll be able to pull up these slides within seconds. So thanks for listening. Bye for now.